I'm here with Sean Ashmore. It's a little strange to be at the Nickelodeon Lounge talking about the following. A little bit different. Yeah, slightly different <laughs> demographics, but that's okay. A that's bit cool. Different. I, you know, I did uh, a Nickelodeon TV show when I was 17 called Animorphs. Oh, wow. Um, what yeah. was that like? It was interesting. It was a show where our characters could touch animals and turn into the animals we touched. <sighs> So it was pretty amazing. So, <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, so I have a connection to Nickelodeon. You do, yeah. so you feel right at home here. I do. Well, we did want to make you feel more at home. And the last time we interviewed you at our studio, <laughs> I know. you know the what's mask. coming? <laughs> yeah. Did you know? Did you see I it? I didn't before see you it. I didn't in? see it. Okay, now here's the interesting oh. part. The last time I interviewed you, the show had not aired yet. Yeah. So I didn't fully understand the context. The context of yeah. me saying that I was going to put the mask on and walk around. I. It's basically saying that I'm like a cult follower, yeah. evil. I thought you knew that. Well, I kind of did, <laughs> but not to the extent that I know now, okay, now good. that I've seen All the right. show. Fair enough. Yes. So I won't be putting this on today, but I just thought we would have it here just as a nice memento. I appreciate memento. that. It's a nice connection to the past. It's a nice, it's our, it's our nice connection to the past. So given that the last time I talked to you, the show hadn't aired yet. Yeah. How has, first of all, the fan response been? It's and especially been, coming here to Comic-Con. Yeah, it's been amazing. I think there was high expectations for the show just based on Kevin Williamson and yeah. Kevin Bacon. And, you know, I don't think we could be happier with, with the response from the fans. I mean, we've gotten an incredible amount of support. Um, we have followers for the following, which yes. is kind of amazing. So it's, you know, it's been a lot of fun and, and we're back again. So And you're back again. Well, yeah, because we'd shot the pilot the last time, uh, but the show hadn't aired. So I think right. this year the experience is going to be much, much different because um, like, people know what the show's about. So for the followers of the following, you guys are going to be down here all together. Yes. Are there parties planned? What's oh. Kevin like, sort of like, is is he sort of, because he's a rock and roll guy. Oh, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, is Kevin's he... a great guy. He's super cool. What I didn't know really about Kevin was was what an incredible musician he is. And He you was know, just on Kimmel. And I yeah, didn't even realize play, he was he play so play incredible. Show, while we're shooting, he's playing shows, you know, and yeah, um, yeah it's amazing. Is he on set? Uh, I've see, I think he brings his guitar to set. When we were in Atlanta, we were shooting in a house and they had a guitar and we were kind of hanging around and Kevin and, and, uh, and another actor named John Lafayette started playing and singing and it was pretty cool. And that's just in between, you it's know, just hanging out, you know, some light, light material on the yeah. show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like a badass? Because Comic Con is all about superheroes and yeah. that kind of thing, and you are Iceman. Yeah. I mean, do you kind of come down here and go, "This is my turf. It's my world. This is my world. Yeah, yeah. I am a superhero." <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I've done four X Men films now, so yeah. it's been such a huge part of my life. And yeah, this is the place to come uh, and and sort of experience the superhero experience. And um, this is the first time, or the second time, I guess. Comic Con last year was the first time I'd ever been to one of these conventions. Are you ever going to come down here and dress up as Iceman? I don't think that'll ever happen. <laughs> I do get asked, around Halloween I get asked that a lot. Like, oh, did you get to keep the costume? Uh, I did not. Um, they're usually about a hundred grand each. Yeah, so, so I did not get usually. to hold on to it, and I probably wouldn't wear it around. I think. Have you, but I'm, do you think you'll see any Iceman? I'll have to report back. I don't know. You will have to let us yeah, know next time we'll we see. you at Comic Con. We'll see what happens. So difference between that character mm -hmm. who's transparent, shows his emotions, and, right. and that you have to show more restraint on the show emotionally and and sort of sometimes it's more internal. With yeah, I think Mike West and the character I play is, uh, I think sort of of all the characters on the show, specifically the FBI agents, I think Mike sort of does wear his heart on his sleeve and he sort of says what he means and I think that's sort of the charm of Mike. But as the season progresses and some, you know, awful things start to happen to him, he does begin to shut down. And what I thought was interesting about that is it sort of mirrors what Kevin Bacon's character Hardy went through in the past and so it was a yeah. nice parallel and um, yeah, it's a really fun character to explore. I'm, I'm really looking forward to next season. Well, I know Kevin's talked about how for him because he's also used to coming from the world of film and mm -hmm. it's very different from the pace and sort of the yeah. how draining tv can be because <laughs> yeah. those hours are really you laugh yeah. when i say that no because i love it yeah oh really yeah, so I you love, drive on it i love the pace i love having 15 hours to explore a character and there's a sense where you can't overthink the scripts that are sort of flying at you we work on the fly the scripts are coming at us rewrites are coming at us and it's fun because once you have a handle on the character and sort of know where you exist in that world, you just have to sort of act on the fly, which is kind of right. an interesting an interesting way to work. I enjoy it. Kevin Williamson consistently delivers great scripts, great thrills, and interesting characters for us to play. Because otherwise, you know, if you don't trust the writing that's coming at you and you don't have a chance to, to really fully 
think about it and really develop your ideas, it can be scary because you know you, you might miss something or you might miss a beat, but Kevin's writing is always on point and so it allows us to just work on the fly like that. Kevin Williams Williamson is kind of a superhero. He knows in what's his going on. Right, he knows what's he? going on, yeah. And speaking of like superheroes, a lot of times at Comic Con people ask, you know, who your hero is. I know you talked about meeting Clint Eastwood once yeah. and that he was somebody that sort of you fond over, or not fond over, but got excited to me. Yeah, he was, I mean, uh, he's, I think he's just an incredible actor. I've loved his work for a long time, and when I met him personally, he was just so down to earth, and I mean, the story goes that he walked into a room uh, behind the scenes of an award show and walked around to everybody in the room and introduced himself as if we didn't know who he was. And I thought that was so right. classy and cool. And I was just like, wow. Was it kind of like he knew everybody in the room wanted to talk to him? So he's like, I'm just going to do it for you. <laughs> no, no, it really wasn't. I think he genuinely was just like, I'm making entrance into a wow. room. And I, there's some people here I don't know. And, you know, just wanted to introduce himself. And what did you say to him? I think I just said hi. I think the rule <laughs> is if you, if you meet someone that you really look up to, less words is better. Really? I mean, is that that's, a tip? That's is my that a role. tip for your followers? Don't no, no. I, I, I mean, I enjoy. Hey, listen. If you want to have a conversation, I'm ready to have that. But I just know for me personally, I should just shut up sometimes. <laughs>